All right, GS Pro fans, got a pretty good one for you today. A lot of detail, even my computer was having a little skip now and again. Lots of birds flying around. Looks kind of like it's built in the swamp, and they call it Kilmarek Golf Club. Playing the yellow tees. The whites were pretty far up there. And starting off with a good drive. Fairway 118 remaining. Not a good swing there. Just kind of cut it off. Lucky not to find the water. A little chip into the circle safely for a par though. And we're off and running at Kilmarek. If you're new to the channel, we're bringing you full 18 holes of the GS Pro courses at the moment. Always leaving room open to have new softwares, new launch monitors, etc. But this is what I'm playing at the moment. And so I'm bringing it to you. Just rolling outside that circle for a bogey. And plus one early after two. We can talk about Kilmarek Golf Club. Like I said, kind of a swampy feel. We've got these water with like giant trees in them and uh, I really dig kind of the feel outside of the course there's not much going on it's just the flat kind of satellite view um, it's really nice personally I think when you can kind of see things out in the horizon especially since we got these uh, hole transitions where you fly up like this we do see like trees out there but then certainly in the background it's just the flat um, satellite there's a ton of detail on the course though we got the golf cart there we got kind of trees separate some of the holes kind of like the masters uh, and then this next shot coming up is tough 225 and I'm trying to carry a swamp the entire way just barely carrying it uh, and left which was not really the place to bail out it was the farthest point a pretty weak chip and another chip I do remember uh, this wasn't that long ago now that I'm editing it and I had a hard time around this course I just remember the bogeys kind of piling up eventually this is a cool hole. Water everywhere. Pin tucked in the back left. Tried to hit a draw in there and just kind of left the face open. Pretty good swing though and hole high. Take a par considering what's about to happen. Par 5 should fit a fade pretty good. And a nice drive up the left side of the fairway. It's nice because you can hit kind of back away from the water now on the second shot. Two two nine could have had a chance at it. Uh, just scored it out to the right, leaving about thirty yards now back towards the pin. Needs a roll. Oh, that's cruel. Two inches away from being a birdie. Sits at a par. Go over to the seventh hole now. Almost 400 yards and a par four. Another good drive there down the middle, 160 remaining. Kind of an abbreviated finish, hopefully I hit that good. Looks like it. And just right of the hole, so yeah. I must have felt good contact and decided I could just stop swinging. 281, a short par four here. Let's see if we can take advantage. Mm, not really. F 
55 yards remaining, and that looks kind of short all the way and is. So a par through 9. Through 8, we're at plus 2. We're going to 9, which is a par 5 with a couple tough shots. First shot up the right-hand side. Try not to go in the rough. It does stay in the fairway. Two, two, three. There's a tree in my way. And of course it hits the tree. Kind of redirects it more towards the hole though. Uh, that was definitely headed to the right. 55 remaining. A yardage I haven't quite been very good at. And a couple inches away again from a birdie. We could be at even if the golf gods were on my side here at Kilmarik. Decided to go out of bounds on 10 to start the back nine off with a bang. And the only option here is to re hit, so. Just hit a provisional and we will go at least in the fairway this time about a hundred left a just terrible shot into the green from a hundred just absolutely slicing the crap out of it and a three putt triple bogey jumps up to plus five really tough par three here tiny green surrounded by swamp water going pin hunting and just a little right but a good shot there fly up over a couple houses you can see around this course and we go to another par five the twelfth Struggling with the frames per second there in flight. And uh, also struggling with the spin on that drive. 125 remaining. Oh no, not 125 remaining. It's a long way remaining, but we were trying to, I was trying to cut it around this tree. And uh, I cut it as much as I could. Still went sort of to the right enough. And uh, we'll have 100 left here. Low draw out of the rough, probably not the best swing idea. It's kind of a wasted short par 5 there to just get a par on. And the plus 5 keeps going here over to the 13th, a par 3, 1, 4, 6. That was a too fast of a takeaway. Goodness. Little Matthew Fitzpatrick. Tough chip out of the bunker to try and get that to stop. And that's a bogey. Plus six through 13. Going to 14th now. We'll stop focusing on how bad I'm playing and focus more on Kilmarik Golf Club. The course designer with the different types of trees and how they're placed, it feels very natural. Um, sometimes you can see so many copies of trees, it seems so digital, but we have different sizes. Like you can see there's three trees on the left, different sizes, the branches are all different. Um, the grasses that are growing around the edges of all the pond water and the trees growing out of the middle of them stuff like that um, I think really stands out uh, to me as someone who plays a different course every day um, really wants me if I'm gonna go play a course again it's really got to stand out in those areas of just uniqueness and detail and taking me to not in my garage like if it doesn't feel like my garage then 
that's a win in itself. Overflying the flag here on 15, and then another tough short-sided kind of floppy chip out of the bunker. This one, however, pretty good. And a par going to the... Maybe this is the final par 5 of this course, the 16th. We'll find out soon, but I think this might be the last chance to hit a good drive, a good second, and chip something close for a birdie. It's going to be about 260 away after a pretty good drive carries that bunker. Another kind of swamp land to cover, and that's pretty much nuked for that club. It unfortunately gets caught up in this little rough patch for no reason. And then a 44 yard, guess what? Just a little short again. So really missing out on like three birdies by a combined total of a yard and a half. 17th hole is going to be a par three. One, five, four. I do think the course is pretty tough too. It's not like um, a super easy one. Landing hole high, rolling just outside of the birdie circle again, but we consider that one a good shot. And the 18th coming up, headed back towards the colonial style clubhouse back there. And uh, I was wrong, another par 5 here on 18, giving you one more chance to hit two good shots and finding the bunker, of course, early. Just a layup now. That one way right. Ugh. And of course, hitting the cart path. Mm. I think there's a hole out of here. Let's see. Yeah, oh, not a bad effort there. Find the greenside bunker and chip it up 20 yards away. Trying to end this with at least a par now. And oh, it does get there for a par. Excited. Kilmarick yellow tees were around 6,000 yards. That's the Saturday pins. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed that. And uh, we will see you tomorrow with a new course.